Okay, well, I've been playing basketball since I was like five years old. I can remember as a little kid, I used to have little tykes basketball goal and my babysitters at the time. I would, I would dunk all the time and every time I would dunk, I would look over the, to them for approval and they would start going crazy cheering for me. And that's kind of when I fell in love with the game from that age to, to now. So, I mean, I've been playing basketball forever. But I'm from Kelly, Texas. I played at Timber Creek High School and uh, basketball is really the only sport I played all throughout high school. I played football and track a little bit in middle school, but once I got to high school, it was all basketball. They started recruiting me at the beginning of my senior year, and so kind of all throughout that year, I was building a relationship with the coaches, and they were constantly at my games, and so that's how I ended up here. I came here, I loved the campus, and that's how I ended up here. Uh, my career here has been really good. Uh, I started getting significant playing time and became a starter in my sophomore year. Freshman year was kind of hard because that was the first time in my life that I really just didn't play. But I mean, besides that, my career, my personal career has been pretty good. As a team, we haven't reached the goals that we want to reach yet, but I think this year we have a good chance to do that. My freshman year, when I really just found out that I uh, stood a chance to actually play here and kind of carved out my role here. We, uh, we were playing Concordia at the end of the year, my freshman year. I believe it was like a, it was senior night actually. It was senior night my freshman year. And I came off the bench and scored like 19 points in 17 minutes here at home with a bunch of people here. So that's a memorable moment to me. That's when I kind of realized that I had a chance to be a good player. Uh, my major is Emerging Media and Communications and a future career ambitions. I want to be in, into sports marketing. That's really what I really love, sports marketing or PR. So, uh, hopefully for an NBA team, that'd be great if I could be like with the Dallas Mavericks or a D-League team, something like that. That'd be great. Uh, I know this photographer in Dallas. Her name is Misty, and uh, she actually knows Donnie Nelson. So I'm into photography as well, and so I ha I've kind of built a relationship with her. And so she got me connected with Donnie Nelson, and that's kind of just how that relationship Built. So at the end of the summer, I toured the Mavericks practice facility and I just kind of spoke with him. On, so I kind of have been keeping that connection going throughout the, throughout the school year. So that's kind of I kind of realized I could grow a long beard during the summer uh, coming into this school year. And I, uh, I don't know, I started getting a lot of compliments on it as it started growing. And so I just kept it going and now we're here. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't get it that long because I still have to look presentable. So I just don't think that would fit my face. So this is kind of how. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anything. I don't think anything on my playlist would surprise anybody. No, no, nothing outside the box at all. Uh, Italy. I guess I would say Hancock. Everybody loves Hancock, and I don't, I don't like it. I don't like Hancock. I don't. I don't believe in those. Kobe Bryant is the most favorite celebrity I've ever met. Uh, it was during All Star Weekend when it was in Dallas, and I met him at a. Uh, it was at the, like it was like a some pre all star event and he was walking around and I shook his hand. Uh, yeah, the photography or singing, one of those. Things. The grizzly bear, Gr <laughs> grizzly bear would definitely be T Mark. I would say a strong six, a strong six. Uh, the pick to pick out my beard as of right now. Some water and a toothbrush. Uh, I don't know. I guess myself. If I, I the beard kind of can scare can scare some people off nowadays. So. <laughs> 